And to look forward to the WSL is the final round coming up next week. And we've got former Matilda Heather Garriok joining us to try and make sense of it all. We needed some expert opinion here, Heather. It's been a massive season. Chelsea and Arsenal have been fighting it right down to the wire. What have you made of it? And who are you tipping to take home the gold at the end of this? How good has the quality been this w- WSL season? Uh, look, you know, uh, Man City have, have done really well in the back end of the season, but the, the front end killed them. Uh, in terms of Arsenal, um, again, they've done well with, with our own uh, Catley and Lydia Williams. Um, but I'd have to say Chelsea need three points to, to get across the line to win the, win the Premiership. And I really think they're going to do that. However, um, Idaval, the Arsenal coach uh, came out this week and complained about at the start of the season how uh, Hayes and uh, Chelsea moved some games to suit Sam Kerr, which was quite interesting. Um, but in saying that, look, if um, if Chelsea lose, then Arsenal um, may may get them at the post, but I don't think so. Chelsea's in too too great a space. Um, their winning mentality um, and the and the the quality of uh, Sam Kerr at the moment, I, I think they'll get across the line. And just on Sam Kerr, she's won the the Football Writers Player of the Year over there. It's a massive award. She just keeps stacking up these accolades at this point. How important is she to the Chelsea team? We've seen a few players have announced that they're leaving at the end of the year, but Sam Kerr seems like a stalwart in that starting lineup. They've got a lot of great players. She seems to steal the headlines. Is that because she's there to knock the ball in the back of the net at the end of it all, or is she really the the key to this title success for Chelsea? No, I th- I think she's I think she's the key, and the reason why, and 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 I know this for for a fact, is you, you see that Emma Hayes has come out, and the belief that sh- that Emma has shown um, in Sam, you can see she's she's a different player when she plays for Chelsea. The way she plays, she's she's got the shackles off. She's free. She's smiling. Uh, the, the, you know, and she finishes for Chelsea. And I, I really feel um, that. The big difference is is the belief that Emma shows in her. And whilst there's players leaving, uh, who wouldn't want to come and, and play for Chelsea, especially with Sam Kerr? Yeah, definitely. I want to talk a little bit about this Man City side as well because they've been on an absolute roll in 2022. Seems like they stumbled a lot to teams they probably should have taken three points from early in the season. Then they won the League Cup. They're now in the FA Cup final. It's been a clear big two in the WSL this season. You knew it was Chelsea and Arsenal from the start, but do you think next season Man City are primed to make a title challenge? Yeah, definitely, especially the back end of this season. What They've lost one game uh, this year against Chelsea, 1-0. Um, they've had a draw to Arsenal. Um, you've got the likes of of our very own Alana Kennedy playing for Man City, Lucy Bronze playing for Man City. Um, I just think the consistency and the quality of football that they play, um, this will hold them in good stead, especially for next season. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.